we consider a race, let's say there's eight runners in the race, and that whoever finishes first will get a gold medal, second, silver, and third, bronze. Then what we want to ask here is how many different outcomes could there be if I'm only interested in the allocation, the winning of the three medals. Well, if I start at the top, there's eight runners who could win gold. Now, once I've allocated the gold, there's seven remaining runners who could win silver. So once I've fixed the gold and the silver, there are six remaining runners who could win bronze. Once I have fixed those three, I don't care about where the other five runners finished in this problem. When we enumerate this, the eight choices for gold, then seven for silver, seven remaining for silver, then six remaining for bronze, gives 336 potential outcomes for assigning the three medals in any given order, gold, silver, bronze. Now, we wouldn't think of it this way. It would seem like overcomplicating it. But this is because there's 336 possible one-to-one -one functions mapping the set of three medals, gold, silver, bronze, to the set of eight runners. So we've got a 336 possible one-to-one -one functions, F, which map a set A to a set B, where the set A is gold, silver, and bronze, and the set B is runner one, runner two, and so on, up to runner eight. Now, we'll often see this written in factorial notation, this sort of descending order, descending integers multiplied, but truncated at some point. So eight times seven times six, I can think of as eight factorial, which is eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, divided by five factorial. So five times four times three times two times one. So by adding in the extra terms at the top and putting them, putting them on the bottom, that's a way of writing this sort of truncated product, eight times seven times six, and stopping there, in terms of factorial functions. Now, in general, there's no reason why there should be three medals allocated and eight runners. In general, if I'm allocating the number of one-to-one -one functions mapping a set A to a set B, well, assuming the cardinality of A is less than or equal to the cardinality of B, i.e. everything in set A could be matched to something uniquely in set B, then I've got the cardinality of B choices for what the first element of A maps to. Once I've allocated that, I've got the cardinality of B minus one rem remaining choices. I can't use the same one again, but any one of the other cardinality of B minus one works. Then multiply that by the cardinality of B minus two, once I fix the first two, and so on. So I keep doing that until every element of A has found its corresponding match in the set B. But that's only true, of course, for where the size of the set A, the cardinality, is less than or equal to the cardinality of the set B. So in this case, when we resort back to factorial functions as we did before. This is just the cardinality of B factorial divided by the cardinality of A factorial, which is why when I was mapping one-to-one -one functions between a set with three elements 
gold, silver, bronze, to a set with eight elements, runner one, runner two, to runner eight. I had eight factorial divided by five factorial, which was, I believe, three, three, six. Now, this is where we can invoke the well, very simple but deceptively useful pigeonhole principle and refer back to a previous video if you're not sure what the pigeonhole principle is. But of course, if A has more elements than B, if the cardinality of A, the size of the set A, is greater than the size of the set B, then I'm going to run out of elements. If I'm trying to allocate not eight runners for three medals, but three runners for eight medals uniquely, obviously that can't be done. So the pigeonhole principle tells me that if there's more elements in A than in B, then I can't allocate a one-to-one -one function for that. So all that means is if there's fewer than three runners, then obviously I can't allocate the three medals. Or similarly, I could say if there's more than eight medals to be allocated, it wouldn't work. 